Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this laptop sleeve and I'm going to show you how to adapt it to the size of your device. For this tutorial I'm using a 5mm hook. So we're gonna start off by chaining and the number depends on the size of your device. You can compare it to your device but it's important that you chain a number that you can divide by 4. So for my laptop I started with 52 chain stitches. So here I'm just comparing it to my laptop and you just want it to fit exactly the size of your device. If the yarn that you're using isn't stretchy at all then maybe you should make it a bit bigger than your laptop. So you could add like 4 stitches. Next we gonna chain one more, this is our turning chain and then single crochet into each stitch. At the end you should have exactly as many stitches as you had previously, so for me it will be 52. So now we're gonna start working the pattern that we are using for this laptop sleeve and for that you wanna start by chaining 3 and then turn your work and double crochet into the next stitch. So you have two double crochets. Then we are going to skip the next stitch and work another double crochet into the next stitch. And in the next two stitches you also gonna work a double crochet. Next you are working a double crochet into that stitch that we just skipped. This can be a bit tricky at the beginning but you will get a hang of it very soon. Make sure that the yarn isn't too tight. So this is how it should look like once you have managed to work a double crochet into that stitch that we skipped. So now you're gonna skip the next stitch and then we are working double crochets again. So work one double crochet and then two more. And then again a double crochet into the stitch that we just skipped. Then skip one stitch again and work three double crochets into the next stitches.
and then one double crochet into the stitch that we skipped and this is the pattern you wanna keep following Once you are at the end you should have two stitches left and we gonna work a double crochet into each stitch. Next you want to chain one, then turn your work and we just gonna work a single crochet into each stitch. And basically this is our pattern, we gonna alternate between these two rows. So we have the double crochet pattern and then followed by the single crochets. So this is what it should look like at the end and make sure you have the right amount of stitches. It should match the number of the stitches you chained at the beginning. Next you are gonna chain 3 and this is gonna count as your first double crochet. Turn your work and work a double crochet into your next stitch. Then we are gonna skip one stitch and work a double crochet into the next and the next two stitches are also gonna have a double crochet and then we are going to double crochet into the stitch that we just skipped and you can always compare this row to the first one it should look the same. So at the end you should again have two stitches left and you are gonna work a double crochet into each. Then we are gonna work single crochets and chain one, turn your work and work a single crochet into each stitch. Thank you. 
Next you're gonna chain 3 and you're gonna work the double crochet pattern again and you just wanna keep growing your work alternating between these two rows. So I just kept crocheting until it had the right size that I needed and you just can compare it like this. Put your laptop onto it and then it should cover the entire laptop on both sides. So make sure your last row is uh, the row with single crochets and then you just cut your yarn. Next we're gonna work the both sides left and right and we're gonna single crochet all along it. So we're gonna attach our yarn. I'm gonna do that by creating a slip knot. Then I just go into the top stitch on the left and pull the yarn through it. Then chain one and we're gonna work two single crochets into that gap with the double crochet. Then chain one to get to the next double crochet and single crochet twice. Then just continue with this pattern, always single crochet twice into the gap and then chain one. Then finish with a slip stitch into the stitch on the top. So once you have done that also on the other side, we can fold up the entire piece and then we gonna single crochet on the left and on the right to combine the two sides. For the rest of the project I switched to a 4mm hook. So attach your yarn in the stitch at the very edge and then just start combining the two pieces with single crochets.
Once you have done that on both sides, you can test if your laptop fits into the sleeve. Next, I added a button and I just made sure I'm adding it in the center of the laptop sleeve. Next, you will want to attach your yarn anywhere at the top, it doesn't matter in which stitch. And then we're gonna work single crochets. So you want a single crochet all around the top, then it's time to flip to the back. I did chain one and then I just continued single crocheting. So once we arrived in the center of the back, we want to chain a little loop so that we can close the laptop sleeve. For that I did 23 chain stitches. Maybe you need more or less chain stitches. The best way to know is just test it with the laptop inside of the sleeve. So once I chained the 23 chain stitches. I just single crochet into the next stitch and then I tested if my laptop actually fits into the sleeve and I can close it properly. So once I single crochet all around, I finish this round with a slip stitch. And then I decided to go for one last round, so chain one and just single crochet into every stitch.
finish this round with a slip stitch and then we are done with the project. I hope you like this tutorial and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box.